Hi, this is Dr. Nakatsui. Uh, I just wanted to go through some of the FUE punches that we use for doing FUE. Uh, these have changed over the years and we've kind of evolved as the years have gone by. Now sometimes when you look at videos of FUE, it looks really simple. You know, we basically make a little incision and then pull them out and they come out really easily. But the truth is it can be actually very difficult to remove, especially if you don't have a lot of experience. But even in experienced hands, it can be very difficult sometimes. So sometimes the hairs are curved in the skin, sometimes they're not straight, sometimes the tissue is difficult to remove. Uh, and so what I want to do today though is just kind of go through what we started with and kind of where we are now, what we've ended up with. So one of the very first devices that we used was a sharp manual punch. And so what this is, is a uh, punch with a very sharp tip. So the tip here is very sharp. And what we would do is we would center this around each hair follicle or follicular unit which is a grouping, a natural grouping of one to three hairs. We would make a little uh, incision using this punch in a rotatory fashion, or some people would actually just spin it in one direction, and then you would, uh, you would pull out that flick of the unit. Now the problem with this was though, is that because it's sharp, it's so easy to cut through a hair and damage and destroy that hair follicle. As well as, like I said, if the hair changes direction in the skin, uh, you can easily transect it. If you follow it straight and the hair curves, you're going to cut that hair. Uh, and unless you're able to know which way it's going and follow it, it can be very difficult to take those hairs out without transecting them. So the next idea was, well, why don't we make the tip of the punch dull? So this is a manual dull punch, and the tip here is not sharp, it's very, very dull. And what we do is the same thing, we would put, center this around the hair follicle or follicular unit, and we would, in a rotatory fashion, basically try to push through the skin and into the scalp, and basically make an incision around each hair follicle. From there, we would extract the hair follicles and flick the units like we would before. Uh, so the advantage of this was, because it wasn't sharp, it was less likely to transect through one of those hairs. And you know the name of the game is conserving as many hair follicles as possible. You don't want to destroy any of them. And with this technique, we could actually uh, remove a lot of hair follicles without damaging them. The problem was, though, is that it's actually very difficult to push a dull punch through the skin. And um, so this was something that did have a purpose, did make sense in some ways, but also didn't make sense in some ways. So the next thing that we tried was then um, a motorized device. So in a previous video, or another video, I'm, I'm, I will show a device that we use that's motorized that actually would spin this uh, punch in a single direction and if you spin it hard and fast enough it will penetrate through the skin so it made it a lot easier to get these hairs out. Um, despite that uh, this would also still transect through hairs because if you spin it fast enough it still has enough velocity to go through some of those hair follicles and, tra and transect through some of the hairs. So this was a, an advantage, it was an improvement over the dull manual punch uh, but this motorized dull punch was an improvement, but still had problems. So after that, the next development was what, a, what we call a dull hex punch. And so this has a hexagonal uh, shape to it. And when, with this hexagonal shape, it sort of helped vibrate the hair out of the, the hair follicles. So it enabled us to make an incision around the hair follicles without damaging the hairs and penetrating well. And this worked better than the simple sort of smooth dull punch. And this is actually one device that we still use today. And in some patients this works very well. Uh, it, it doesn't transect hair very frequently and it also um, is a good way to get the hair out without damaging them. Now another tip that we use nowadays is uh, one of these fluted punches. So this is a very sharp edge, so this is a sharp punch. And we also use this with a motorized device. So this device will um, help spin this tip to help us remove some of the hair follicles. Now, the advantage to this is that this tip is fluted. So it's not straight on like the original sort of punch that we had. It's actually fluted so that the sharp edge is not straight on but actually flutes outwards. And using this technique, it has a sort of a dull inner side and a sharp outer side. Because of that, we are, we are now able to take out a lot of these hair follicles uh, without, without transecting them. So it's a really a nice new advantage, uh, a nice new technique to do this. And this is something that we use very commonly as well, in addition to the hex, the dull hex punch. The last punch I was gonna show 
is very similar to the one I just showed you. The only difference is that it has a serrated edge. So instead of being a smooth, sharp uh, tip or sharp edge, it actually has little bits to it, almost like you know a bread knife. You know they have there's different types of knives that we have. We have the sharp ones that we use for cutting meats and vegetables, and sometimes you'll use a, a one with this little serrated edge that's even easier to cut through meat sometimes or sometimes through bread as well you can use a bread knife that has a serrated edge and that will help cut through more more thoroughly so this is another type of tip that we can use in certain patients and different patients demand different types of tips so in some patients this is the perfect tip in some patients the regular smooth uh, but sharp fluted tip is good and in other patients the uh, dull hexagonal tip is the best and so it just depends on the patient because every patient is different and they all have different requirements. And if you have um, someone with experience, they can help choose which is the best tip for you and to get the best results and to transect the fewest number of hairs. So this was just an overview of some of the tips that we have used in the past and the tips that we currently use uh, for FUE to deliver the best possible result. Thanks a lot. We'll see you again.